Hey, JaguarBarmanTraining.com. It's uh, Thanksgiving. Did a short workout. All out sprints on the road bike here. I do 10 on, 50 second rest. And I don't do anything in between because I want to get my breath down so I can do each one to maximum capacity. It was recommended to me this way by a pretty fucking extremely strong and fit doctor. And... To me, there's nothing else that gets close to sprints than the road bike. You can do hill sprints, great and all, but if you don't do sprints, you can try this. Plus, the arm movement is a different element. Anyhow, then I finished off with farmer's carry, 110 pounds, 55 pound dumbbells for 160 yards. was only going to do 100 yards. Like I said, I wanted to be light. I went a little bit further and did... 160 yards not a big deal good for grip strength i did it while i was still having a routine uh, heavy breathing like i kind of have now but when you train that way and you're carrying shit and you're already breathing heavy that's when the strength becomes noticeable because your conditioning fails most people and most people if you can't breathe you can't carry you can't hold so something to think about anyhow i'm getting back to thanksgiving our media and our elected officials try to destroy our cultures and our traditions in America. They do whatever they can to let everyone know how bad America is, okay? We're not the only country out there that did bad things, but we're the only ones that seem to be blamed for it. Other countries, right now, to this day, there's still slavery. But for some reason, Slavery that ended 200 plus years ago is still a fucking problem for a bunch of whiny crybabies, okay, who it never affected, or who never, parents or anybody they ever knew, was ever a slave. So, today on Thanksgiving, they want you to think that we should not celebrate Thanksgiving because it's a, it's a holiday of genocide. We came here and we killed raped and pillaged Native Americans. Hey, listen, this wasn't their country, okay? They didn't grow here, okay? Every country in existence has been taken by stronger people. Like it or not, it's the way it is, okay? Now, people that say that we committed genocide against the Native Americans don't realize that the Native Americans were killing, raping, and pillaging themselves, their own people, okay? So don't go listening to the culture haters, the tradition haters, uh, the people that hate the found in this country, you yet still want to be here to live. And right now, whether you want to think it's free or not, it's still probably the freest place to actually live where you can still sometimes say what you want to say. Sometimes, right now. But what I'm saying is if we continue to let these idiots destroy our culture and our traditions and not say something back or get rid of these fucking people, we won't have a country. And neither will your kids or grandchildren. And for me, that's a problem. See, these people are the traitors to America, okay? Traitors, absolutely. I don't care if they're serving in the fucking, in Congress, in the Senate. I don't care if they're on news media. They, they'll they tell you they're patriot. They're fucking traitors. Anybody that fucking criminalizes an entire fucking culture forever, to try to do nothing but undermine, okay, the greatest country where everybody wants to come fucking live, everybody. Nobody's on a fucking inner tube on the way to Cuba, okay? No one ever fucking was taking a long trek to the fucking, uh, to fucking Guatemala, okay? Everybody comes here. They risk their lives to come here, okay? So don't let these fuckers on Thanksgiving or any of your other holidays, because pretty soon Christmas is next and they will fucking do whatever they can to make Christmas look like fucking bad, to make you feel like you're some kind of fucking degenerate or some kind of you should feel guilty and things like that. These people need to be fucking exercised out of society. Think about that, man. Have a happy Thanksgiving.